So we've got this fully sick dinosaur. However, it is not rigged. It's actually a really nice dinosaur. There's an extension to the Auto Rig Pro add-on, the very first add-on that I ever purchased in Blender. And this is a library of pre-made armatures. So what I can do is come up here into Auto Rig Pro, add armature, and now I've got a bit more of a list of different types of armatures. Kangaroo, mate. Hey, gown. Hey. But we want to do this. I want to say Brontosaurus. I don't think it is, but I know it's an ape. <laughs> so you can see we've pretty much got that same setup here. Um, obviously, it's in a different pose. So let's kind of do our jazz to get this right. So let's just go into object mode. I am going to delete this mesh because I don't need it. Let's select this rig. And if we have a look in pose mode, we can see that everything's already set up. So what we're going to do now is I'm not going to go into edit mode by pressing tab and adjusting the rig in here. I'm actually going to go into edit reference bones. Now you can see how the rig looks a lot simpler, which is exactly what we want. Now we will go through the process and re putting it all in the right place. However, the cool thing is I can select this and I don't want to adjust so many bones. I don't want the tail to be so fluid. I can go into limb options and rather than 18, oh my gosh, that's a lot. Let's go nine. And now we've shortened that tail chain of bones. That is sick. Now with the neck, six. So you can see how Auto Rig Pro works and just kind of like all those fundamental options. But don't forget you need Auto Rig Pro first. Now there is a link in the description for all this. And now what I'm gonna do is just kind of line up the bones. So I kind of just gonna select all this jazz, bring it up here like so, all right. And then one by one, I'm going to adjust the neck. Now, the really good thing is this dinosaur has really good, uh, really good topology. So I can go into wireframe mode and we can kind of just follow the line of the dinosaur, the back of the neck. Oh my goodness. So I'm just gonna do this real quick on the neck. There we go. From here, let's just do the tail super quick. Nice. Now, if I go into front view, our legs are a little bit far off. That's fine by me. Let's just quickly adjust that. I'm going to grab these legs here. Uh, let's go GX. Beautiful. We've got the tail selected at the back. Deselect that. The wonderful thing is, is mirror bones is already enabled. So if I move it on the right hand side, the left moves. Lovely. I'm just going to move this over a smidgen. That looks good in there. And then that joint kind of there looks good. I reckon probably about here-ish. There we go. Just adjusting. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, let's quickly do the hind legs. Move you forward. Let's go something about there, something about there. All right, I'm fairly chuffed with that. Let's bring up the spine. Nice and, oops. One last thing, let's just move this chap over. G to the X. Grab that one in there, lovely. So we've now placed all the bones in the correct position. From here, I can just go match to rig and that's gonna regenerate all those bones, fully sick. From here into object mode, I'm gonna select the mesh first, the rig second, skin, bind and now when we go into pose mode and we move everything around hello <laughs> hello there <laughs> how are you why couldn't the t-rex post a letter because he was dead ah. <laughs> um we can see obviously this bone here it looks a little bit off now the beauty of that is we can come back into the rig edit reference bones let's bring that down which makes sense why that didn't really work let's go back into match to rig uh, technically we should redo the binding so mesh rig skin bind yes please and then you can see that's kind of lined up a little bit better so now we've got a dinosaur that's rigged it's still set up with all the IK jazz how sick is that oh whoa Whoop. <laughs> wow. Dun 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 d